Some water sources are pristine, making them easier and less expensive to treat. However, many water sources aren't and present challenges to water providers. And as continued population growth increases demand, utilities are forced to look for additional supplies. In these situations, water providers may look to treat alternative water supplies, previously considered unacceptable, with alternative treatment methods, including membrane technologies. In the past, the expense of constructing and operating a membrane treatment facility was prohibitive for a lot of utilities. But as costs continue to fall, membrane life improves and membrane systems become more automated, they've become a more viable option. Membranes are used by water utilities to address a variety of treatment challenges, including reuse, desalination, removal of fine solids, dissolved inorganic contaminants, organic chemicals, emerging contaminants, such as pharmaceuticals and personal care products, and the removal of regulated contaminants, including pathogens. Membranes are also used to remove hardness in water and to treat disinfection byproduct precursors. There are two classes of membrane processes used by water utilities, electric-driven and pressure-driven. Electric-driven membranes purify water by moving ions across a membrane using an electric current. Electric-driven membranes are used in electrodialysis, or ED, and electrodialysis reversal, or EDR. In ED, ions are transferred through a membrane as a result of a direct electric current applied to the solution. The current carries ions through the membrane from the less concentrated solution to the more concentrated one. The high concentrations are then removed. EDR is similar to ED, except the polarity of the direct current is periodically reversed. This provides automatic flushing of scale-forming materials from the membrane surface. As a result, EDR can often be used with little or no feed water pretreatment. These technologies are primarily used for brackish water treatment, particularly in applications with high concentrations of hardness or silica. A majority of utilities that use membranes are using the type that are pressure-driven. Pressure-driven membranes include microfiltration, ultrafiltration, nanofiltration, and reverse osmosis. Microfiltration, or MF, and ultrafiltration, UF, are sieving processes, which means they have pores that act like strainers. As water is forced through the membrane under pressure, contaminants too large to fit through the pores are held back or rejected. MF and UF are pressure-driven membranes that operate between about 10 to 50 PSI. MF and UF are a form of filtration similar to granular filtration in that they are used for particle removal. They turn typical surface water into potable water in the same way traditional treatment does through coagulation, flocculation, sedimentation, and filtration.